hi you guys and welcome back to another video although this is going to be a throwback video like from july honey there is a lot of chitter chatter in this video i'm doing a few shout outs we're having some real talk some real youtube talk so get comfortable sit down grab a snack and let's get into it So this is gonna be a little chit chat in my car. I actually have not vlogged in days, I think. Yeah, I think it's been a few days. Um, I mean, you guys would never know just because of the way that I edit my videos. I've been trying to do uploads every two to three days and it's been, it's been pretty good. You guys are still seeing stuff that are like weeks and months behind. But listen, child, the way my life is set up, that is uh, the best I can do. And I hope you guys still appreciate it. I mean, you I know you guys do because my, my loyal supporters, um, my loyal uh, rider dies, y'all always are there. Y'all always are showing love. And um, I just want y'all to know that I'm super appreciative because like I always say, nobody has to watch nothing over here on this channel or anybody's channel and most of the times i feel like i don't be talking about nothing like i took a, i talk about some interesting things you know whatever i tell my little jokes whatever things like that but for the most part it'd be some you know just be some regular stuff so the people that actually take the time to watch my videos and especially my 35 minute plus videos thank you so much i always feel like i need to say thank you um a lot you know in videos I just got home from work. I literally just pulled into my driveway. I am like 30 minutes earlier than I normally am because I have gone back to taking my old route. And I do believe I've mentioned that in um, some previous clips that have not gotten edited yet. I was supposed to make a video that I have already uploaded live earlier today. But unfortunately, I was in meetings all freaking day. And when I thought that I was gonna get a break, cause I haven't given it a title and I haven't created a thumbnail. Mistake number one. Uh, cause if I would have done that, I could have just made it live. But I thought I was gonna have a few minutes to do a little thumbnail and create the title. I didn't do that. Then I thought maybe I will put it, uh, make it live tonight. But uh, my analytics show that my videos do better in the mornings, morning, afternoon, early evening, like early, I mean like five. And when I upload videos like at night, they don't get as many views um, as the ones if I uploaded it in the morning. I credit that to, I just feel like in the morning <laughs> or mornings towards, you know, early evening, people are at work. <laughs> Y'all know working and watching their YouTube videos because that's what I do. You know, when I'm in my office and I'm on my computer sending emails, uh, you know, doing paperwork, things like that. I'm not really dealing with people, staff or anything like that. I usually am catching up on my YouTube videos. I have my, my AirPods in and I'll have my iPad and I'll just watch videos, listen, you know, comment. Now, here's the thing, too, I want to say, especially about my comments. I just heard my girl Pedalist Bliss. Hi, sis. She is so sweet. Most of you know who she is. Pedalist has been around for a really long time. I'm so happy that, you know, I'm back to watching her videos and stuff because I think when you're not on, this might be long, y'all. So this is just an FYI because I have a few things I want to talk about. Um, I believe when you go off of YouTube and you don't comment or watch people's stuff, YouTube will unsubscribe you to some people, right? I don't know why what have you but i just watched her latest vlog she is a diyer she's awesome she's always been really good at uh creating things like home decor she just did not too long ago her office desk she blinged it out with all this pretty glass and um she got a new chair and i just i just love her first of all she's from canada and i love my canadian people Although I have no connection to Canada, except that I love Canada. Like I told y'all, I wish I would have moved to Canada. But she's from Canada, and she's very supportive, and I truly appreciate that. She always has been, though. It's just that, I guess when I wasn't on YouTube, you know, as much as I am now, 
I got unsubscribed to her for some reason, but I'm back. She has two channels. She has a, a, a DIY channel dedicated to her DIYs. You guys must check her out. She's been doing a lot of things on the Cricut machine. She's been making some cool um, t-shirts that are really cool and creative, but she does a little bit of everything. I just want to give her a plug. Not that she needs, not that she needs a shout out from me because she, she's popular in her own right. But for those of you who don't know her, so she has her DIY channel and she also has her vlog channel where she does like um, weekly weekly vlogs and I totally enjoy them. She's a sweetheart, great personality. You guys check her out, especially, um, well now she has the cricket. Let me tell you something. <laughs> yeah. She's give, giving me inspiration to get back into using my cricket because I've had a cricket when they had when they were like old you know like cricket has been around for a really long time and i've kind of upgraded over the years but i've never really put my cricket to um its full use you know i started i've, I've done t-shirts i've done sweatshirts i've done all of that not really to sell because when i was selling t-shirts i know i'm going left y'all this is what happens when i was selling t-shirts it was just easier for me to order them in bulk and have somebody else print them because depending on how many you know orders you would get in i was i was doing pretty well and i just didn't have the time or the patience to do you know use my cricket to do each each t-shirt but i used to make my own um you'll see in some old vlogs i i talk about it i made a a, a, a few hoodies whatever like last winter whatever y'all never seen those vlogs but anyway back to what i was saying like she pedalist bliss has re-inspired me to actually use my <laughs> cricket machine for other things i predominantly used it for packaging um and stickers and i used to make a lot of greeting cards and stuff like that but um i mean since i've bought this house i haven't really used it that much but thank you pedalist because you just got some vinyl um and you you've re-inspired me to do some things on on my cricket give you guys are you if you're a creator um and you like to make things especially like diys t-shirts um i also have a cricket mug maker again i haven't made anything to sell i kind of make stuff for gifts i y'all know i like to give people stuff um i'm gonna talk about that later because i'm gonna stop giving people stuff um and recently i want to say like five months or so ago uh cricket released, cricket released their, their mug press it's awesome it wasn't even that expensive it was like what well, wasn't expensive to me because i know when i say things are not expensive some people be like that's it that is expensive it wasn't expensive to me it was a hundred and twenty nine dollars i think they were selling it on amazon you can get it from cricket you can get it from michael's michael's if you have a coupon whatever this is for all my creators um i know um who else uh style by kira i've seen that she's she's also i think she has a cricket machine she's, she's also been making some cute stuff um you know on her cricket as well so if you're a creator you know and you don't have a cricket you should get a cricket because it's just the, the possibilities are endless um i was cutting out like boxes for like my products um you know using the vinyl to do labels and stuff like that because i just didn't want to pay anybody to do that and it was a lot easier to use the cricket machine but yeah so moving on um the whole point she capitalist bliss had said in her video one of her latest videos that youtube had sent her something warning her that if she continued to spam people's channels that they were going to shut her channel down now I've never I've never gotten any messages like that or if I did I don't know because I don't even really be checking YouTube messages but um, I do check my comments so um, I have gotten and I've spoken about I've spoken about this to Keisha before I've spoken about this to uh, Leah from the Leah Ray show because um, these both of these ladies including others have left me some really really good comments on some of my videos and i wasn't able to respond because youtube holds the comments right some some of the comments i don't know what they pick and choose or how they pick and choose which comments they're gonna uh let post on it's my page right so i do understand that um some things get held for review 
these comments are not even in my held for review section, right? So I did a little research, got on it, and basically the community, the YouTube community is saying that even with some comments, if you want them to be on your page, if YouTube finds them inappropriate or there's certain words or emojis in the comment, they will not even let that comment post to your page, even if you want it to. So you'll see it like if you use YouTube studio, you'll see the comments, right? And you can read everything and you might, some of them you might even be able to reply to the comment in YouTube studio, but it will not post under your video in your comment section, right? So, and honestly, recently, I wanna say within the last month or so, I'm like, yo, why am I comments so scarce, right? I'm like, oh, well, you know, I guess, you know, people busy, people ain't feeling it, whatever. I am just do me, you know, I am just do me because it is what it is. And I think uh, all of us as creators, you know, YouTubers, you kind of go through that, like, if your numbers change your analytics change you know people stop watching or your comments are like you know now you only got like 30 comments or something we used to have let's say 200 or something you start questioning yourself right like oh are people losing interest what am i doing wrong can i better improve we all go through it it's a natural thing you know because you, you're you're on a platform to be creative. You're on a platform where you want people to interact with you and, you know, uh, let you know that they're watching. And when your numbers change, you're like, wait a minute, what, what the hell is going on? Even if you're not trying to be a superstar one here or whatever, even if you're just doing it for fun, it's like my girl Sarkaz always says, it's the comments for me. Y'all, most of y'all know Sarkaz, right? I always talk about um, and she always says it's the comments for me one of her quotables or whatever and it's so true because when you're making videos the only I mean you could tell who's watching or whatever by your your views but who freaking knows who knows who's really watching unless these people are interacting with you in your comment section that's how you really know who's watching um, who's engaged to, to what you're talking about or showing or whatever it is it's the comments right because that's that's how you communicate with your tribe right so when YouTube starts holding comments I'll I'll post a few comments that was in my YouTube studio that would not post I think uh what's that? not bang bang um girl I don't forgot your name queen child I don't forgot your name I'm so sorry but one of my subscribers I'll post your name up here girl forgive me forgive me because you are actually one of my very loyal subscribers so please forgive me she left a comment and I was flattered by the comment. I ain't gonna even lie. I was flattered by the comment. It was so cute, you know. I y'all, I'll post a comment here, whatever. And I think because of the emojis that were were left on the comment, YouTube might have flagged it as inappropriate, right? <sighs> Ciao, you know. And then somebody else left me a comment. Um, Key of the Queen, Key of the Queen. I'm so sorry, girl. I just it just popped back in my head. I apologize, girl. I know you one of my loyal loyal supporters. Key of the Queen. She left me um, some really you know nice comments, and then um, whatever. I had some other comments, and it's just unfortunate, you guys, because then it also when people don't see their comments, especially if they take the time out. See me? I know I'm going left. I when I'm watching your video, I'm commenting as i go i'm not the type of person that watch will watch through the whole video and then comment at the end because i'll be forgetting i'll be forgetting especially if your video is like over 10 minutes if you got like a 25 um a 25 minute 30 minute anything over 15 minute video that's a lot that's a lot of content right so i'm the type of person that usually will will comment as i'm watching right so if you got a cute little something in your video i saw i'm like oh that's such a cute pink shirt you have on whatever right and then i'll hit send right i don't because a lot of times what happens too is people whose channels are monetized when you start typing a comment right um if an ad pops up you have to watch two three four ads before the video can continue right so if you start typing a comment, then you're stuck, right? So I, me personally, 
I watch as many of your commercials as I can, but to be honest, that don't really make y'all that much money. That, that don't make us that much money, okay? So it's not that serious. But um, if you will, if if I allow, because I, I skip some too, because I have to, I want to watch your video. I do not want to watch an ad. Well, you you're really not getting that much money from it anyway. Um, if you start a comment, you can't skip it, right? You, you'll get stuck. It'll say, do you want to cancel your comment or do you want to continue watching, right? Okay. So, that's why whatever I'm watching or noticing in your video at the time, I'm making comments. So, you, all the people who I watch and that number has, child, that number has gone down, down, down. Because as I told y'all a few months ago, I cleared my and I'm I still haven't completely cleared my YouTube or whatever because I really don't have the time especially now being back to like a regular regular work life but I will say that I have uh, been able to focus more on the people who I really want to support and watch the people who actually support me the people who actually take the time to comment and watch my content I want to give y'all that love right back because that's where the community is. The community is not in you, um, you know, watching people's videos and they don't even respond, child. They don't even respond. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. You know, even people that I like, like at the end of the day, I had to have a real conversation with myself. Like my time is precious. My time is absolutely precious and I don't spend all day and all night on YouTube. I make an effort because I'm trying to support my people and there's a lot of people who it's content I really do enjoy. But I have a life outside of YouTube. You know what I mean? And I've discussed this before. We won't go too deep. But at the end of the day, sweetheart, whoever this applies to, and I know a lot of people was in this same situation because a lot of y'all, we have spoken about this. I cannot continue to uh, give sister over here sister girl over there my homeboy over there 10 minutes 20 minutes 45 minutes that before you know it i don't i don't watch three hours supporting people that could could kill less. you know what i mean because you cannot tell me that uh people don't make time for the people they really want to support okay because because we all know this to be true um the people who comment on people's videos who they really want to support they make the time whether that person's video is 10 minutes 30 minutes whatever it is you're gonna make the time to support the people you want to support that's just bottom line so in in saying all of that I have had to stop supporting certain people and it's been good it's been good it's been good for me I, I, I will say because I like I said I've been able to focus more on the people who actually interact who actually respond who actually care who actually show me love back and that's no shade that's no hard feelings to anybody it just is what it is my time is precious just like I know your time is precious so you're taking the time to make a video that you want people to watch but yet you don't respond to comments and you don't support other people or you just don't support me so because I don't know what other people do for other people because I worry about me over here but you know that's it just is what it is bottom line so um yeah it's been it's been good just me being able to focus on a smaller group of people because I really believe in support, you know what I mean? And, and when you're trying to support a bunch of people, you gotta be selective. You really have to be selective about, you know, how you're spending your time, what your mind is absorbing, whose content, you know, you're engaging with. These are real things, you know, I'm a whole grown ass woman. <laughs> Like I, some things I just don't resonate with anymore. You know, some people may be like, well, bitch, I don't resonate with you either. Like you, you curse or whatever, you know, that's, that's a big thing or has been a big thing on my channel. I remember that one time this older lady and I thought she was the sweetest person cause she used to, you, she used to leave me the sweetest comments, but I guess she was so offended at times when I would be expressing myself and I would say some curse words, right? And I guess it always bothered her, but she felt the need. This is, you know, back in the day. She felt the need to leave me 
uh, and I respected the comment. She she leave me a whole paragraph about you know how intelligent I am, but when I when I use curse words, it's so disgusting. And when when I'm cursing, when she sees my face, all she sees is a terrible, ugly person, and she can't respect that. And for someone like me who's so educated and and well spoken, why do I need to use curse words? And she would have to unsubscribe because she just doesn't understand and blah blah blah. I'm like, listen, at the end of the day, one thing for sure about me is that I'm always going to be my authentic self, okay? So this is not a family channel. I've said this before. i say it again. This is not a family channel. There's no little kids, you know, around me in my presence. Child, I, the, the shit that I see on here too, for people that do have kids, the shit that y'all post online, if the shoe fits, wear it. The shit that y'all post online with y'all kids... Child, if I was one of those people that would be in the comments like talking mess about people, I don't if I don't like something, I just I just go, oh, I take myself, I remove myself. I don't need to leave you a negative comment. I don't need to do anything because because I don't like it. You know, that's just just my opinion. I'm just I'm baffled, child. I'm baffled by the things people allow with their kids, what they post with their kids, how they allow their kids to come on camera, certain things. I'm like, girl. Are you not a whole grown person, y'all? Like, I, I'm gonna tell you something funny. The other day, I was watching something. My subscriptions was just randomly playing because I um, was cleaning, I was cooking, I was cleaning. So I just had my subscriptions just randomly playing, and my husband, um, he just happened to walk by and he heard something, right? And he was like, it caught his attention, and he was like, "Yo, who are these people, right?" And I was like, "Oh, there's some people I'm subscribed to, whatever." He was like. No, do they do they think this is appropriate you know and i was just like child listen he was like this is the type of stuff they put on the internet i was like listen you can't tell people what to do with their lives their channels whatever he was like wow and you know he's a man he's a grown-ass man who's like a business person you know whatever and the fact that he noticed how inappropriate the video was it it, it kind of like just confirmed like i know i wasn't tripping i was just like why would they even upload this like did you look sis did you look at this did you see what you put it on the internet whatever i be getting so sidetracked y'all be getting so sidetracked y'all but um the comments the whole thing was uh, about the comments like um youtube is flagging comments so if you don't see your comment you know in in my comments please do not think that i flagged it or i deleted it or whatever like I'm, I've been very good about being on top of my comments since I've been back and YouTube is basically deciding what comments get spammed or what comments are not going to be published on YouTube. You know, I, I don't know how because the, with YouTube, there's really no rhyme or reason to a lot of a lot of things. Even when you search the community, there's 15 million answers about stuff. There's never anything definitive. You really can't reach people on YouTube. When I was down with Style Hall, uh, the network, I will say that they were good about that. Like when I had questions about certain YouTube things, they were able to contact whoever that their contacts was in um, on YouTube to get me an answer. That was definitely a benefit um when being a part of a network and a, a network like style hall like I, I know that they're still around because i think sarcasm confirmed that like child that was my old channel and i ain't got time but yeah so um the comments i just want to put that out there like if you don't see your comment and also please don't be discouraged from making comments because of that because um i appreciate the comments and i like to know who's watching and i appreciate the interaction okay so that's that Next thing I'm going to talk about you guys is how pissed I was today on so many levels, right? So I, I have mentioned that I do not feel comfortable going back to the gym, okay? Um, my gym, right, during COVID, and I, I might have spoken about this, I'm not sure, they were still charging me. Even though the gym was completely closed, right, and I had called and said, um, payments are gonna be held right because no one's using the gym and they were like oh yeah yeah yeah, you won't be charged until we officially are able to reopen right that was BS so I have like a miscellaneous card right that 
I want to say it's like a play card where I, I put miscellaneous uh, uh, charges on it. So the gym was like one of those, like you know, like small. I think my gym is like twenty five dollars a month. I put like magazine subscriptions. Like I used to put subscription boxes. This card is specifically for like bullshit, right? And um, yeah. They still was charging me. They still was charging me like every month. I had to fight tooth and nail to get my um, my money back that they were charging, that they took during COVID, right? So then I, I had said when um, the gym had opened back up, I'm good. I no longer want to uh, be a part of this gym. Please cancel my membership. They told me they were going to charge me a $39 cancellation fee. I'm just like, whatever. Charge me the $39 and leave me the fuck alone, right? Boom. So I thought I was good, right? And this card has like um, a very small, um, it's a debit card, but I keep a, a certain amount of money on it, right? So... I, I'm noticing, right? So I'm like, um, what the hell is going on? Because I'm seeing like $25, $39, $49, you know, coming coming out of my card. And I'm like, what the hell? What the hell is this for? And it's, it says motor cross or something. I'm like, what? Is this a motorcycle? Like somebody that stole my identity, right? Like I'm bugging, right? Come to find out. Now, meanwhile, you guys, I got a whole new card, right? Because my first card um had expired and they sent my bank automatically sent me another card so they say this is all during covid i never got the card so when i called they said oh well we're gonna have to cancel that card because if you didn't get it it could be anywhere there were no charges on it but the fact that i didn't receive it they had to cancel that card and issue issue me a new card i said okay no problem fine now i see that there's still charges coming from my gym on this new card so i'm like yo how the heck it's new numbers it's new numbers i have no idea how they even got the new numbers how how did they get the new i canceled my old card and on this new card it's the same bank account but it's new it's new numbers so they're they're still chart they're however they were able i have no idea i've been trying to call all day i have not been able to get through to anybody and because of the meetings today I, i've had like short breaks it wasn't like you know i had 20 minutes to wait on the phone i wasn't able to reach anybody right i'm pissed i am pissed beyond pissed i have a paypal credit account right started it a long time ago when i started my business um paypal was an option that was uh strongly suggested back then for you know people felt secure using paypal using paypal through websites or whatever that's the only reason that i got it right child they freaking triple charged me on uh what is this july on july's payment right so the the money that's coming out um the money that's coming the money that they're taking come is coming out of another bank account right they send me an alert because it, it it got alerted as fraud because it was the same charge three times of 500 and something dollars do y'all know how much money that is like there was over 1500 dollars in charges that they charged that they charged me or tried to charge me right but my my bank stopped it because it came up as fraud paypal what who, who who told y'all who told y'all to do this right so again in my little breaks we get a little 10 15 minute break you go to the bathroom whatever i'm trying to get somebody over at paypal like yo what are y'all doing how are y'all trying to charge my my account a three times for a one month payment couldn't get nobody on the phone y'all i'm so vexed right now because i do not play about my money and that's one thing I'm very on top of. Like my, I've been financially educated for a long time. I, I take my bills seriously. I take my savings seriously. Do not play with my money. I need my money. I need all of my money. I don't care if it's two cents. If it's mine, I want it, you know? And then just trying to get through to somebody, it's just like hell. And actually when I was on the way home, I tried to contact PayPal. They're like, oh, the wait is 75 minutes. 75 minutes and they don't even have an email for the credit part the the regular paypal 
they do but for the credit part there's no there's no email it's only a phone number so you have to call somebody who has 75 minutes to be waiting to speak to somebody are y'all crazy are y'all crazy uh, yo you don't play with people money man you you do not play with people money and i'm sitting here like Yo, what if I didn't have the money in the bank, right? So y'all charging me and charging me and charging me, right? If I didn't have that money in the bank, it would have bounced, right? So then that would have been, because my bank charges $35 for any bounce back or whatever. $35 times three because of y'all mistake. I can't. I just can't. I can't. I had to get that out, y'all. I'm so livid right now about that you know I, I had to text my husband he's like yo who saw i'm like who saw these nuts because they playing with my money they play i'm about to actually cancel um pay it off and i'm about to cancel it again the paypal shit i use it for miscellaneous business stuff only because back then when i opened it which is over 10 15 years ago whenever paypal whenever paypal first started all right i don't know how long ago that was but i've had my account for that long and it was great because they just kept giving me money and giving me money and I was using that shit for business or whatever but I don't necessarily even need it so I'm gonna whatever the balance is I'm gonna pay that shit off and I'm gonna be done and I'm gonna close it like I said I don't have a lot of credit cards I mean PayPal is one but I don't even I don't even really count that as a card because I don't really carry a balance um and then I have one other card that I use for like vacation and shit like that because you know you get rewards and that's it and that's it because i know somebody had made a uh, smart comment saying oh you know um people use credit they're using credit to buy all this stuff da -da 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 -da. not this person i told y'all i use my credit for big purchases hundreds and thousand dollar purchases stuff like that right? not for small shit stupid shit that people use their credit for which is ridiculous like you're gonna continue to stay stuck in a hole i don't use credit for that if i don't have cash i don't have money in my bank account guess what it ain't, it ain't the time for me to get it. it it's just not and this is why my uh portfolio is healthy because i don't do stupid shit you know what i mean and especially especially at this age like people should know better you know what i mean it, it there's nothing in this world materialistic that's more important than your financial freedom okay nothing nothing and i love me some material stuff okay i love me my sneakers i, I love i love being able to buy whatever the hell i want to buy i don't care if it's inexpensive expensive in the middle vintage whatever it is i appreciate being able to experience whatever i want to experience but i'm never going to go into debt for nothing materialistic or for some stupid shit to keep up with whomever never 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 okay that's that's just what it is i'm still rocking shirts from forever 21 that i got 20 fucking years ago you know what i mean because mm, mm, it, 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 i just i just take care of myself you know what i'm saying like I, if you trying to build your credit i guess i guess but nowadays again if you if you're trying to make big purchases debt to income child debt to income how much money you making how much money you you putting out you know what i mean like this is what this is what they're looking at um when you go in to buy a car when you go in to buy a house when you're making real grown-up purchases you know what i'm saying i'm just saying i'm just saying that, that that's just what it is